Fallout continues from our extreme winter and early spring weather. And there are now some serious flood concerns you've been hearing about. One of them is a huge lake filling the southern San Joaquin Valley. But in Yosemite this weekend, a good part of Yosemite Valley is going to be closed to the public starting tonight. It's typically the beginning of the big visitor season. I mean, they really start to peak as we get towards late April and early May. But there's a little hiccup to that this year. So we wanted to talk to a hydrologist and a climatologist, and we're going to go local here to San Jose State University. And we've gotten uh, lucky enough this morning to wake Dr. Allison Bridger up early. She is uh, with the Department of Meteorology and Climate Sciences at San Jose State University. So the first thing we want to ask you about, Dr. Bridger, is how unusual is this to see Yosemite Valley have to close to visitors during what would otherwise be the busiest point in the visitor season because of flooding concerns? Um, I don't remember hearing something like this in the recent past. But of course, in the last five years, we haven't had anything like the snowpack that we do this year. Um, the temperatures are warm, but not record-breaking warm. But here's the thing. If you imagine going into the Yosemite Valley with your family, and it's a hot day, and there's a nice cool river, you're obviously going to want to jump in. I probably would myself. But it's very cold. It just melted and it's fast flowing and that's dangerous. And in addition, the river is forecast to go above flood stage. Um, and that all adds up to just a little bit too much danger to be a good idea. So earlier we were trying to give people an idea on how this is gonna to come together in terms of the rapid increase in water flowing through Yosemite Valley. We tried to put that into cubic feet per second terms. But there, there's a whole lot of science that has to go into a forecast like this. If you're going to close Yosemite, and the park has already said they're going to refund all those people who had planned months, in many cases probably years ahead, to be in Yosemite Valley for this week, and they're now told, sorry, can't come in. It's a huge decision to make. And there's got to be a lot of science that goes into that, right? There is. Uh, there are people who look at the process of the snowpack melting, and of course, by this time of year, it's not all light, fluffy snow. It's been sitting there for weeks and weeks and weeks, gradually crushing under the weight of the snow above it. Um, and so there are people who specialize in figuring out how that melts, what the conditions need to be. And then the hydrologists can actually run simulations of how that melting ice can flow down into the streams and then into the bigger rivers, figure out the rate, depending on how much the um, temperature is, how high the temperatures are, and uh, come up with a good forecast of how high the river is going to be down in the valley itself. Um, and that'll fluctuate. Uh, it won't be very high in the morning because it's been cold overnight, but it'll come up in the afternoon as the temperatures begin to go high and the melting continues. Uh, and you can come up with a, a pretty accurate estimate of is it going to go over flood stage and when is it going to go over flood stage and by how much. And, and those guys do this all over the place. You'll see forecasts for the Russian River, for example, when we have big uh, atmospheric rivers come in in the winter. Level. And, and of course, what's left over is flooding out into the Central Valley. And so they can also turn their attention to things like Tulare Lake uh, and see how much water is going to be left over and pour into that and how deep those flood waters are going to get. All right, Dr. Bridger, thank you so much for lending your expertise. I'm sure we will talk to you more later in the season about Tulare Lake. That's, that's great. That's the big lake down in the southern end of the San Joaquin Valley. And, uh, Love the Mars picture behind you. And I know you told me that's part of your expertise. And San Jose State University, you guys are a fantastic resource here. That, that meteorology department there. Uh, I know yep. Craig Clements, who has helped us so thoroughly during fire season with the interdisciplinary fire department. And you have been a huge help to us today on the climate Thank and you. hydrology side. Thank you so much. We'll check in again, I'm sure, soon.